we take the kids on vacation, more of a long weekend, to the mountains to get away for a little bit, and I'm eager to get back to check on the little ladies. And when we get back, I notice we have problems. So I was planning on doing an inspection today on our weak hive to see how they were doing and to see if they were able to make themselves clean right. And right now, I think they're trying to get robbed up. So we've got a lot of fighting going on down here and everybody trying to get into the top. And it may be from our stronger hive. So let's see if we can give them advantage. They've got a screen bottom board. So right now they're going to get upset, but... We are going to give them a reducer. It is July, so it is hot, so I hope that helps prevent robbing, and let's see what's going on. All the way around the hive and even back here. So we've got a lot of bees underneath this top and coming around. Yeah, see, they're trying to rub them out. But yeah, not a whole lot of bees either. We were able to stop the robbing, and that was fairly minor as far as that goes. But we were hoping to come back and find a queen right hive and lots of bees. And from that getting started on the outside, I don't think that's really what we're going to find. I really don't want robbing to start up again. I think I got rid of anything that was a wax moth earlier. So yeah, they were battling. We got a couple dead bees up here. And there's not a whole lot of bees in this box. Not a lot of bees is an understatement. Uh, there's virtually no bees in this box. And if you notice, here where I take the fully screened inner cover off, the bees that are there just fly away. So they're not trying to defend anything, so that's not their home. Here I'm trying to show you bees that are running around that all have mites on them. So we had a mite on the back here, a mite here on this still, and the next couple steals mites that are riding around on the abdomen. So that's our problem. These bees have just gotten tired of having to deal with mites, so they've moved on. This colony is gone in three in that amount of time. Small hive beetles are absolutely everywhere. And it's full of honey. This is pretty sad. I did not expect them to be near this bad right now. I mean, if you come over here and look at this, wow, this is mid-July and we've got a couple bees on the front, but for a second brood box up top, there's nothing in it. The queen cell. It did not take, so that's what I was hoping would really work. It's full of jelly, but 
Nothing came out of it. Absolutely full of honey. And no bees. No wonder they were being rubbed out because there is nothing here. hive up. No bees. Lots of honey. And if I look below the screen board, just an unreal amount of mites. So this is me dumbfounded and upset and really at a loss for what to do now. I was really wanting to be able to add a box to this, hoping that they were blowing up. Uh, and if they weren't and struggling a little bit, then I was going to pull some brood frames from the other hive and give them some help. But here at this point, there's nothing to give brood to. So uh, after staring and looking at it for a little bit, really the only thing I can do at this point is just put it back together. And so I close it up and walk away for a little bit because I need to think about it. So I walk away go up there and look back and forth, back and forth several times, just trying to figure out what I need to do next. After thinking a while, I do go back. You can see the honey super land there with the camera backed away I had hoped to need. And I realize I just really need to freeze these frames to kill any small hive beetle larvae and wax moths that will make a bad situation worse and just make a horrible mess. So I'm gonna pull everything out and freeze it. And also I'm wondering, this hive had deformed wing virus really bad. Is this something I can even use in the future? I mean, there are full frames of honey here that would be awesome resources but it's infected with virus. Does freezing get rid of the virus? I really don't know. So I kind of decide that I can't use them. I don't want to spread disease anywhere else. So I'm gonna scrape all these frames down. And while I'm running back and forth, I notice there's a lot of bees that are still there and they're not robbing, they're defending. And so I realize that not every bee gets the memo that, hey, we're all leaving today. So there's still a handful of bees that this is still their home. And they're still being bees. They're gathering nectar and pollen and they're trying to defend their home. So after basically losing everything, uh, my heart kind of wins out a little bit and I can't take their home from them. I can't pull everything away. So I know it's gonna be a bigger mess later on, but I end up leaving a box and some frames of honey for food for the little ladies left behind. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.